All right, now we're going to go ahead and actually uh, mark up and cut out the sheet metal to make this uh, reducer. Um, I thought I had a plastic 45 degree triangle because if you remember, if you remember the um, uh, it's 44 degrees. Well, that's close enough to 45. This isn't, you know, this isn't rocket science. I mean, I'm not building a piano or a, or a, or a rocket. No, so um, that'll be close enough. But uh, I do have a protractor. And uh, so to, and this is like I mentioned before, you know, you, we, you have to have a radius. That's why I had to do the calculations for the radius because that's how you draw things. I've taken a strip of wood that I had, drilled a hole in it, and I've drilled another hole. There's the center. I've drilled a hole at 11 and a quarter inches and at 17 and a quarter inches. And I'm going to go ahead and put this just a little, oh, where's, get it just on. Um, Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of make a little bit of a dent there. Kind of probably poke that all the way through to the table. And I'm gonna go ahead, oops. These bricks aren't holding it down all that well. But hey, we'll just we'll see how it we'll see how it goes. Let's just, let's just give it a shot first. It's gonna take two hands. There's a scratch. There we go. Now, <clears throat> put the. This is probably not. Probably oh, this is still in. Yeah, this is still in the view. Uh, put that there. Let's start at zero at one spot. Get it. Yeah, that's good. Um, Put this back to that's on zero there. And now well, might as well put it where we can read the numbers. 90 and 45 is here. Might as well just do 44 since we can measure it. There, I made a, made a dot there. There we go. <clears throat> now, I guess I could have made this way off the end and cut it out of the, but you know, at some point I have to not be a cheapskate and just do something that's easy. So I'll end up cutting this out and I'll have pieces of sheet metal to do something else with. And if I end up having to do something like that later, then I'll do it then and rather than now. Okay, one thing we are gonna do when I cut this out is we do need to have a little bit of extra so when we fold it over, we can seal it rather than just have it butt together. So I'm gonna make a little bit of, uh, cut a little bit past, and I'll also uh, cut some tabs out, leave some tabs in so that we can attach it to, uh, each, um, uh, to each pipe fitting. So there we go. One more thing before I move this, I outlined it, all the scratches in Sharpie. Actually, it started off in black, but it ran out. Luckily, I had another. Uh, because the scratches look really good from some angles and other angles, you can't see them at all. So I went through an outline that I'm gonna cut on the inside of the lines all the way around. And actually, might as well go ahead and do that now. So this works. I'm gonna go ahead and put a glove on at least one hand because sheet metal is sharp. So I have a pair of sheet metal shears and first I'm going to go through, I'm just going to go through and cut on both 
both hands. <laughs> End up cutting myself. So now, since I'm just doing straight cuts, let's try this bigger and see how it goes. Hopefully this is getting caught on the camera. Yeah, here we go. Jack edge to little razor sharp little tendrils sticking out. There we go. And I probably ought to do this on frame lapse but I've got my I need tabs on both sides blew that Okay, now before I actually bend this and try to connect it, I want to test something because I'm hoping to just be able to run a couple of staples through it and then bend the staples over to hold it together and then seal it up with some with some uh, um, silicone. But let's see what happens first. Um, yeah. you know, I've got these the end grain on a piece of. 4x4 four four, so it'll it'll come out easy because it's in grain is soft won't hold it in tight. We'll see what happens. Actually it helps to open the air tank. There we go. Hey. Went right through. And yeah, went right through. Okay. Gonna need to back off the pressure. Um which I don't know if there is a way to do that with this, other than just let the air leak out a little. Try that again. Yeah, that's that's holding it in pretty. It's still. She's going to need to go through two layers. So, let's test that. It doesn't even need to, as long as it goes through both, it doesn't have to go really deep. Oh. 
well, I'll keep it this and then show you the result at the end.